Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Tudrin Field. It is October 20th. We are here for some excited, exciting Northampton Youth Football League action. The Northampton Juniors are facing the Amherst Hurricane Juniors. I'm Andrew Shelfo, joined in the booth by Rob Osberg. How are you, Rob? Fantastic on this fantastic fall day. I can hardly believe it's October 20th. We're on the campus of Smith Vocational High School. This is Tudor Fields. And these are fifth and sixth graders. Now, last week, these two teams met for the first time. This is a rematch. And the Amherst Hurricanes managed to do something that no other team in this division has managed to do against this Blue Devil, Devil defense, and that is to actually score. The Blue Devils gave up their first points of the season last week in a game that the Blue Devils did win by a three-touchdown differential, I understand. I think the Blue Devils may have a little payback in mind, having their season sullied like that. There's the kickoff. It's finally picked up. Rentis. Rentis looking for some room. Cutting it way back. Now he's cutting it back the other way. Nice block there by Quinton Cesaro. Finally, he's brought down on the 25-yard line. He did a lot of running on that one. It was about a 35-yard run that resulted in 10 yards less than where from where he started. He didn't do enough north-south, too much no. east-west. Uh, Rentis made a uh, classic mistake that you see made at every level of football, and that's from trying to go for the homer. He ended up with a, a negative yardage. Not what you want to see on the kickoff. Well, that's okay. One thing we have seen out of this Blue Devil Junior Division team all season long is that we know they have the ability to score. Yes, they do. This is a terrific group of players, and they've had a great season. And that's number, so who's that at quarterback? Let's uh, see. Let's get a number, number there. 35. Is that Jack Quinn? Yes, Jack Diggins. Diggins. Jack Diggins, yeah, number 35. A quarterback. Looks like Jordan sprained ankle from last week. Hasn't healed up as much. There's Luke Belcher with the run. Nice little juke. He's into the secondary. 50 out of bounds at the 48-yard line. And that's a nice opening play. Yeah, that was a nice run. Good speed by Belcher. That is the bread and butter of this Blue Devil offense. Run your big guys to the left. Run your big guys to the right. That one's to the right. Yeah, solid, solid play by by Melcher. So the uh, the starter for the Blue Devils has a bad ankle. Is that correct, Andrew? As I understand it, uh, Gavin last week sprained his ankle and he is not dressed for today's yeah, game. No, although yeah, he is on the sidelines yeah, to cheer his team Gavin on. Number thirty-six, Gavin Jordan is the, uh, is the starter, and I guess he uh, sprained his ankle Thanks last week. For him. But Jack Diggins does have game experience out there. I'm sure he's going to be capable today. Takes the snap. There's the pitch to Rentis. Looking for some room. Wrapped up in the backfield. Two guys. Couldn't beat both of them. And there you saw a little bit of fire out of Diggins that I like, too. He was the quarterback. He made the pitch. Saw that the runner was in trouble. Hustled over there to try to block and help him out. That's you know, a nice play. You know, you know what's great about that play? I did get to the Amherst uh, Juniors game last week, and Diggins won. It was in a quarterback, and I saw a couple of pitches, and they were off, and that pitch was right there. So, obviously, they've been working with uh, Jack all week long, and so far, two for two out of the quarterback for the Blue Devils. Nice job on the... On, the center QB exchange and a real nice job on the transitions to the running backs. Makes it second and 15 for the Blue Devils. 35, Jack Diggins, Whitey Diggins. Diggins looks around, makes sure his team is set. Takes the snap. There's the handoff to Melcher. Melcher looking for some room up the middle. He does manage to gain about three yards. That'll be it. That'll bring up third down and 11. It's a big play. The uh, Blue Devil uh, offensive line. Uh, it's going to need to do a good job against some beefy Hurricane defenders. And some of those defenders showed some good feet, good speed in both plays. They've got some athleticism on that line. They do. And another thing they have that we didn't see with the Pee Wee division of the Amherst Hurricanes, they do have some depth there on the team. Lots of players on the bench ready to jump in there and help out if need be. Third and 12, Diggins breaks the huddle. He's lined up in the shotgun formation. No, that's not Diggins at quarterback. Who is that at quarterback, Rob? Is that, is that There's Melcher. Melcher. He's looking to pass. He's got somebody open. Unfortunately, the pass is a little bit short, and it's picked off, and then he's brought down by number 13. Team 21 on the interception for Amherst. Quentin Cicero. Quentin Cicero. He was the intended receiver, and he turned into defender and did a good job of bringing that person down. Melcher had a lot of time in the backfield there, yeah, and Cesaro was open, but Melcher just, his arm just wasn't strong enough to get it to him. 
they, no, no, he hasn't had a lot of experience back there. I'm sure he's had plenty of snaps in practice, but there's a big difference between practice and game time, and uh, that ball came up a little bit short of the, of the intended receiver. Yeah, and, and a lot of times it's just being in there and getting the experience to know how far you can throw the ball in certain situations. Right down. Amherst, on their first play of the game, they run the ball up the middle. That's, Matt yep. Tansky, That's a gain of about three. Yeah, that was, Matt, that was Matt yes. Also looked like number uh, number 70, Luke uh, Lyon Sosons in that tackle as well, and I think we also saw in that play, was, uh, was that number 10 in on that play as well, Benny Fowler? Yes, Ben Fowler was in on that play as well. Second and eight for the Hurricanes. So a little bit of a wishbone formation behind the quarterback. Quarterback takes the snap, hands off to the up back, and he is by met Melcher. by Luke Melcher. Ball's on the ground. Number 13 has picked it up. He's running. Cuts it back up to the middle. Quentin Cicero with the fumble. He fumbles, he fumbles too, but then it's fallen on by Ben Fowler. Heads up play there. A lot of action on that play, Rob. Sure was. Quentin Cicero picked it up and Boy, Melcher, you know, I think, I think Melcher was the one who made the hit, but maybe not. Was it number 70? Or, uh, no, that was Melcher. The, the running back got through the hole in the line, met Melcher, who popped the ball out. I, th I don't even know if it touched the ground. And then Cesaro had the ball in his hands and scampered down the left-hand side. Speedy Cesaro. Got down inside the 30. Yeah, he's got that unbelievable breakaway speed. He's on. A little guy, but he can fly. He can fly. I thought he might. He had a chance to break it there. Camp offense lines up. First and ten from the 26-yard line. The referee gets referee gets everybody set. Referee, where'd that come from? Referee gets everybody set. Diggins takes the snap. Hand off to Melcher. There's a hole on the left-hand side. He grinds forward for about. Six yards. You know what I like so much about that run is he finished it. After the initial hit, he kept his legs driving forward, and he picked up three and a half yards after the initial hit. He drove forward, he spun down those extra three and a half yards at the end of that run. That's the that's sometimes the difference between a, a win and a loss, how to finish the run. That shows experience, too. He kept kept the motor moving, and he got extra yardage, which is always key. Yeah, too often you see running backs at this level, or even at the, you know, even at the upper levels, decelerate into the contact, and that's a formula for, you know, that's, not, that's a formula for getting hurt. It's a, it's a bad formula for success in football. Second and three, Diggins takes the snap. It's a handoff to Melcher. Melcher bounces it to the outside, still on his feet, cuts it back up the middle. He's got the first down, still on his feet, close to the 10. Finally brought down about the 11 yard line. The goal line there, Melcher broke three or four tackles. The ground is. That'd be a little bit fooled, Rob, because they have that G down there. But yeah, that's left over as we from know, the, that's, 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 that's the 10 yard line. That's the game, and that's at the 10. Yeah, we're looking for the orange uh, the pylon down there. That marks the goal line. It's another fine run by Melcher, and he's earned a break. well deserved rest. Yeah, I think Cicero's in the game. Be a first no, he's, he's a kid who likes space. I wouldn't. Line. I wouldn't be surprised to see a pitch to number 13 and sweep right, and him running right. I think uh, our production manager Andrew Kesson's calling for the sweep right. The uh, color man Osberg's calling for the sweep right, and the play-by-play -play Shelfo guy is just. I call it as action. I see it. <laughs> Diggins takes a snap. Takes a snap. There's a pitch right to Cesaro. He cuts it up the middle. Cuts it back outside. Still on his feet. One guy to beat. Then the bunch of Hurricanes get him. He's down about the four-yard line. That was another tough run. Yeah. You know, Cicero has showed himself to have great breakaway speed all year today, but he actually not only had breakaway speed there, he had break, break tackle speed on that play. Well, that's three straight runs that we've seen to the inside, two by Melcher, one there by Cesaro, where they have done what we've been talking about. They, they keep their legs moving, they protect the ball, and the result is positive. So time for some smash mouth football. Let's be focused on the line here. We're looking for Kozlikowski, number 79, to make a big block. Number 56, Dylan Demon, to do his job on the inside. Let's watch those uh, the Hogs do their job. Diggins, nice station job. snap, hands off to Melcher. There's a hole on the left-hand side. Closed quickly. He gained about uh, two yards there. It's it's just shy of the first down marker, and the first down marker is just shy of the goal line. Yeah, they can get a so it looks like they can get a first down without getting a touchdown. Improbable I don't think if I would get that in the pool, though. I don't think the odds of that are pretty or any good. No, it's about the length of a football that separates the first yard marker from that 
goal line pylon. Third down and about a half a yard to go. Hey, let's focus on number 77, Jared Smith. He's in there, left guard. Got to make a or left tackle. Got to make the, the key block here. And here's that, that trip left, trip left formation. It's that trip left formation that they really like to run. Shotgun yeah. snap to Diggins. Does a good job uh, of getting the high snap. The Hands off to Melcher, down. who's in for the touchdown. <laughs> that was a fine drive there, engineered by Jack Diggins. Outstanding and a great job by Jared Smith opening up that hole. Melcher saw it. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Now what's, Six. 50, 50 going around. Now what's so effective in that trip left formation is it gives the defense a lot to think about. Yeah, spread out the defense. Defense and uh, Melcher just exploited that hole that was opened up by that offensive line. He could have driven a Volkswagen through there. That makes it six nothing. Here's the two point conversion attempt. Camp lines up for the two. Diggins in the shotgun formation again. Trips left, fakes the handoff to Melcher. There's the pass to Cesaro, and he is in for the score. Nice play. Nice pass by Diggins. Sure was. Great throw. Handled the shotgun snap well. That's the Blue Devil team that we've come to know and love over the course yeah, of the season, Rob. And uh, Diggins gets a big high five from his coach, Hank Gerard. The head coach for the Blue Devils is Mike Deven. He's assisted by Brian Pesesky, Patrick Diggins. And the league president and assistant coach of our juniors, Hank Gerard. We have the first to score here this afternoon. So after the turnover, the Blue Devils take the ball and march down the field, score the touchdown, and get the two-point conversion. You know, we've commented about it all this all season. These juniors are so well coached. Vera, hats off to this junior coaching squad who's done such a great job all year. Here, we're getting ready for the kick. That number uh, looks like, who's that on the kickoff there? That's Ben Landry with the kick. Gets it through to the back line. Fielded, picked up, looking for some room. Yeah, and as no he way. was looking for some room, the Blue Devils were Gavin bearing Gavin. down on him. So That's a Bulldog Gavin Bullock tackle by Bulldog. Ben Landry. With the good touch, yeah, with the good tackle, and Ben Landry, the kicker, followed him, follow him yeah. up to help him out. Yeah, Gavin Bullock did a really nice job in that tackle. Bulled him down. Boom. Hurricanes will take over on their own 37 yard line. Lights are slow to come on here, Rob. It's kind of getting a little bit dark. Lights are coming on. It's been a beautiful day here in Northampton. Little rock, little rap, little run DMC and Aerosmith takeoff. And now Amherst. Can't be lines up. There's a snap. Quick hitter up the middle. Goes nowhere. He's caught right of the line. That Tamp defensive line is pretty stout. They're going to be fooled that by that one. Looks like Gavin Bullock in on the tackle again for Hamp. Gavin was. Bullock in on the tackle. There may be an injury on that play. Second and nine for the Amherst Hurricanes as they break the huddle and come up to the line of scrimmage. Quarterback makes sure everybody is set. Takes the snap. There's the handoff. Looking for some room on the left-hand side. One, two Blue Devils there to bring him down, including Devontae Edmonds. And yeah. that was number, was that Caven Powers, number yeah, 48 as well. Yeah, Powers did Caven the wrap, and, and the Devontae tackle. Edmonds and did the splat. That was a wrap and splat. Now, one thing you saw there is that that running back had a little bit of room, but the defensive line and the linebacking speed of the Blue Devils just said, if you're going to take that long, we're going to bring you down. There's just no substitute for speed in the Blue Devils have it up and down the line. They have it on the line, they have it in the linebackers, and they have it in their backfield. A lot of athleticism on this team, and we've seen it all year long. This has been a dominating season for these Blue Devils. On offense, they score, and on defense, they don't allow the other team to score. You can't ask for much more than that. Third and eight. Amherst takes the snap. Look at the throw. Met in the backfield, holding on oh. for dear life. Set him up there, and that was number 55 in there who flew in there, Troy Renner, to bring him down. And I believe that was number 10, Ben Fowler, who yeah. had the initial hold, holding on for dear life yeah, to know. make sure he didn't get anywhere. And, and that brings thank, up fourth down. You know, all I can say is thank God that Hurricane could see Renner flying through the air because had he not, he was going to take quite a rip. And this looks like a punt. Looks like a punt. It looks like the Hurricanes have this. Side well, maybe it's or maybe the it's a quarter. We're trying to figure quarter. it out. Uh, I'm going quarter. to call that the quarter. quarter. Well done. End of the quarter. Sometimes they change sides. Sometimes, sometimes they don't. <laughs> and sometimes they kick it and 
Sometimes they they're don't. And sometimes on our toes. we know how much time is left in the half, but most of the most time, of the time, we, time don't. we don't. We don't know a lot. Oh, what's the deal here? I think it's uh, it's not first down. I think it's fourth down, isn't it? Or third down? Or it's not first down. It's definitely not first down. It's fourth down. Fourth, fourth and seven. That looks about right. And it is a punt formation. And so we're they're at the gonna beginning punt. of the second quarter. Second quarter has just begun. Luke and uh, this is Luke fourth Melcher and is back to receive. I see a run back here. There's the snap. There's the kick. Whoa. It's blocked by Devonta Edmonds. Devonta Edmonds. Devonta Edmonds. And was that number 59 who fell That was on Edmonds. That? Yeah, that was Edmonds all over. Edmonds it. was definitely in there to block it. And who recovered that? Was that, I think that I think was, was Dylan Demon. Was it Demon who recovered who, that number ball? Number 56 who recovered the ball that was Between his legs. Under, his, under his legs. Devontae yeah. Edmonds. He did a, uh, he did a late, you know, put jump right on the field ball field and now. hold it underneath your lower back. It's not really the way they draw it up, but it was effective. Got the job done. Digging First and 10 over. Blue Devils here line. at the beginning of the second quarter. And that was another example of the Hurricanes just holding the ball a tad too long. Getting the Blue good, Devils a tad you know, to get in there. That was a good snap. I thought that punt was going to get off cleanly. Yeah, it just took a little too long. Diggins up under center. There's a he fumble. got stepped on by his offensive lineman. Still managed to get the handoff off. But Melcher muffed it a little bit, and it's a turnover. The Hurricanes are going to recover. I couldn't tell if Diggins tripped or he got tripped or what happened there. It looked to me like he got stepped on on that play by one of his offensive linemen. Yeah, that's how it happened. Uh, and he did a good job of, of sticking with the play and trying to get the handoff to the running back. But it just didn't hit Melcher in the right place, and he never had the handle. And that'll go down as a turnover. Now, for those of you who watch football on a regular basis at the college or the professional level, you take for granted the timing and the coordination between the center and the quarterback and the quarterback and the running backs and oftentimes the orchestration is disrupted by something and you see it, you see it a lot at this Return level. Events puts the ball right Nothing back but in practice. Now first uh, quarterback takes a snap, looks to pass, completes it into the secondary, makes the first person miss. Melcher finally brings him down. There was a lot to, lot to uh, feel good about if you're a hurricane on that play. What was part of what was really impressive, impressive there, and that was number, uh, it's a great throw by the quarterback there. He threw the ball before the receiver turned around. That's a play you usually don't see, and that was Sam Leonard, number 81 on the reception. Nice, nice throw. Yeah, good job by the receiver to be ready for the ball as soon as he made his turn out of his route. Yeah, the timing on that was outstanding. Well-crafted play and well-executed play by the Hurricanes. Yeah, and that's a hard one to defend if they're going to be that much in sync with their timing. Yeah, it's tough. Quarterback there's Bills, number 23. Nice throw. Amherst quarterback takes the snap. There's the handoff. Met and stopped and brought back down by Troy Renner. Ouch. That's a big hit. Troy Renner was right on top of that play and left him on the ground. Third and three, let's call it, for the Amherst Hurricanes. After they recovered the fumble, they've managed to put together a modest drive. This is a big play. Because you like to shut them down here. There's a snap hole up the middle. Nice hit. He ran right into, let's catch that number there. That's 32. 32, Gavin Bullock. Who's back in the game after that injury. Gavin Bullock back in the game. Now that was that was a good tackle by Bullock. Sure that, was. That I mean, running back ran right into him. He does get the first down. And Bullock has some big shoes to fill. We noticed that uh, their little linebacker, uh, number nine, Ryan Long, is not in pads this week. Must be nursing some sort of injury. He's had an amazing season. And has anchored the defense in that linebacker position. And, uh, Bullock taking over that middle linebacker dad, position did a real nice job. Mom and dad, get your ice cream. First and ten at the 46 yard line. Hurricanes in a wishbone formation. There's the snap. There's the handoff. Look at the room on the left. There's Bullock there's again. Bullock again. Coming in and blowing up that play. That's a loss of two. You know, they've got that grab and splat plan down. Somebody holds them. It could be one of eight guys, and then Renner polishes them off. And the consistent thing that we've seen so far is these defensive players for the Blue Devils are just flying into the ball. I'm, I'm in pain up here watching that action, boy. That's, that, those are those are big time hits. Those are big hits at any level. I mean, the speed and acceleration of those tackles are illegal. Looking at second and long. Great, great technique, and they're also the coaches running different players in and out, and it's, so it's not just one or two players. It's 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 pretty much widespread on the defense. Second and eleven. 
quarterback takes a snap. He's looking to pass, throws it up, completed again. That's the same play we saw earlier brought down by Melcher. That's the same play we saw earlier, Rob. The quarterback threw that ball before the receiver turned around. And well executed. Tough nice one play. to defend. Yeah, it's going to bring up about a third and one. Nice play on the uh, Hurricanes. They're showing some uh, stamina here as they battle this this. For Bednis, the Blue Devil defense. Melcher was on that play as soon as that pass was caught, but he couldn't really do much to stop the completion. So third and maybe a half a yard. And you got to believe that this would be four down territory for the Hurricanes as well. Amherst up to the line, takes the snap. He fumbles the snap, balls on the ground. Amherst finally fell on it. See the jerseys in there? That was big number 55, Troy Renner, who did a great job of wrapping up the quarterback. <laughs> the unfortunate thing was he didn't notice that the ball was on the ground. It's a loss of about two yards for the Hurricanes there. It's going to bring up fourth and a long break. Hey, this gives us an opportunity to thank the uh, Northampton Blue Devils Youth Football Board of Directors. We've already talked about the president, Hank Gerard, who's a coach on this team, but he's assisted by Vice President Ron Behrens and Secretary Erica Lamana, Treasury Diana Zinal, Manfred Melcher, Karen Johnson, Patrick Diggins, and Brian Bisesky round out the board. We appreciate their efforts. It's a full time, it's a, their work goes 12 months and we appreciate it. Here's a big play in the first half, fourth and four. Quarterback takes a snap, a little bit of room on the left Devontae. hand side. Devontae Edmonds says, No way. Hits him in that hole, wraps him up, brings him down, how turnover on downs. How discouraging must that be to get the handoff, you think you see a hole, and instead Devontae Edmonds, it's like he walks through the door there and he's standing there and you got no chance. That's a, that is a formidable defensive player. Devontae did an excellent job there of filling that hole and bringing that runner down. MC no chance when Edmonds in the house. It's another example. All right, Blue Devils take over first and 10 there on their own 48-yard line. And a lot of times a big defensive play like that can translate over to the offense. Uh, let's see if they can capitalize on the momentum change here. Diggins up under center, takes a snap. He is immediately wrapped up by the blitzing linebacker. Does a good job of holding on to the ball, though. Diggins brought down for a little while. They showed blitz and they came with the blitz on that play. Yeah, and the Blue Devils were not prepared. Uh, don't, sometimes it's great defense, sometimes it's porous offense. I think we're going to give that one to the defense. They anticipated that set snap count and did a good job. A couple of hard snap counts here. If the Blue Devils can go some discipline, they can get five yard penalties time and again. Keep, those, uh, keep the timing of those Hurricanes off balance. Brings up second and 15. They're showing blitz again. Diggins takes the snap. There's the pitch to Cesaro, trying to get some room on the outside. He does. He cuts it back up the middle, still on his feet, weaving his way through the defense, gets the first down, still up. That's a gain of about 20 yards there. That was a great run by Cesaro. Trade in the backfield, please. After the outstanding run by Cesaro, that brings up a first and 10 from the 34-yard line of the Hurricanes. I formation behind Diggins, takes the snap, had trouble getting the handoff. He is brought down, and there is a fumble, and it's recovered by the Hurricanes. This is another turnover. So that's the same thing. The blitz there, Rob, overwhelmed the Blue Devil offensive line. Yeah. Didn't give Diggins time to get the handoff to the runner. So, so brought down and a fumble. I'm sure Northampton's going to make a change in this. You know, if I'm if I'm the Blue Devils right now, I'm I'm calling uh, you know, second or third. You go into the second or third time. I'm telling my line, just stand still. We're going to get these guys offsides three or four times in a row. March it down. Take away their rhythm. Yeah, that is a good idea. Um, you do have to be careful with the relatively inexperienced quarterback in doing that. But we'll have to worry about that next time the Blue Devils get the ball. Now the defense has to stop them here as the Hurricanes take over on their own 39-yard line, a timeout. and there is a timeout on the field. I ah. can't tell. After the timeout, first and 10 Hurricanes. Quarterback takes the snap. He's looking to throw. Here's that Ball play. is up. This time, incomplete. Incomplete. The antenna receiver on the play for Andrew number 81. 
covered by 13, Quentin Cicero, incomplete. Yeah, number 13, He's Cicero did a nice Avery. job on that play. And also noticed the pursuit out of the safety position from Jalen Rodriguez. He had checked into safety. And that play, even if it was a successful pass, was going nowhere. The uh, speedy defensive backs for the Blue Devils were all over that. And uh, great pursuit on the Blue Devils. And that is also at least the third time the Blue Devils have seen that play. It looks like they're not going to be as surprised by it as they might have been the first couple times. Brings up second and ten after the incomplete pass. Wishbone formation behind the quarterback. Takes the snap. There's the handoff. Whoa. Brought down, Brought down again by Devontae Edmonds. I think he read that page oh, in the playbook, Rob. My God. Out on that and Devontae Ouch. Edmonds never gave him a chance. Oh. Big loss. You know, we talk about we talk about trying to finish a run. The only the only the only thing that got finished there was the tackle. The runner. The ran hard part into a there was starting wall. the run, I think. Boom! <laughs> Edmonds, bang, I think the play theme. over, you are down, I next play. Devontae, I think, knew what the play was even before even before they did. That's a loss of five on the play, third and 15. Can you feel the, I mean, we can hear those hits yeah, up here, we can down, feel those hits up here. Man, there was a hurricane, I mean, there was an earthquake here last week. I think there's going to be an earthquake after some of these tackles. Quarterback takes a snap, looking to pass to oh, his left. Got him. Ball is up, he's got him open. Pass is complete, and I think they're also going to call pass interference on that. Regardless, it's a complete pass and a gain of 20 yards. That's a first down for the Hurricanes. Yep, pass interference they're calling on the Blue Devils, and I anticipate that'll be declined. First down for the Hurricanes. Yeah, the Hurricanes have shown a real nice passing game here. It's uh, very impressive. These Blue Devil corners are really being tested today, and so far they're up to it, but they are bending a bit. That's going to bring a first down in the Hurricanes are in Blue Devil territory. Well, that was the first time they made the pe they used that pass play to the left hand side, and I kind of like that strategy. They're kind of throwing the ball up and saying to the receiver, "You just go and get it." You know, and it's and, and the, these receivers have the athleticism to make it to make it happen. First and ten from the 48 yard line. Takes the snap. There's a pitch left. Looking for some room. Cuts it up the middle. Whoa. Spun down. Brought down hard by number 55. That was Troy Renner. The ball came loose, but I think they called him down on that. And they're calling a timeout for the Hurricanes. Second and 12 now after the big tackle by big number 55, Troy Renner. Quarterback takes a snap. There's the pitch to 81. Looking for Zeru on the left. Makes one guy miss. Two guys miss. Now he's in the clear. Melcher's got a chance to get him down. Finally brought down by number 55, Renner. Nice play there for Renner. But big yardage there by the Hurricanes. The Hurricanes are showing a lot of resilience on offense. They're definitely popping some plays here. They are, and they're mixing it up nicely. Pass left, pass right, run left, run right. They're they're doing a pretty good job of keeping the Blue Devils back on their heels. And then that number 57 reporting into the game. That's uh, Isaiah Rodriguez hey, reports in for the Blue Devils. On the play in the First and down. 10 from the 30. This is a drive that started after a Blue Devil turnover. Here's the same play as earlier. Pitch to the left, 81. This time, that is Mr. Renner saying, I know what you're going to do with it. It's not going to work this time. Tackle for a loss. I think there's a timeout here as we're approaching the uh, end of the first half. After the timeout, Amherst breaks the huddle, comes up to the line. Receiver to the left, receiver to the right. Second down in about 13. Quarterback takes a snap. He's looking to throw. The ball is up. And you know what? Oh, That's picked off. off. And he's got a lot of room in front of him. He's got room. 40 brought down at the 32-yard line. Let's catch a number there, That's Rob. Landry. Is that number, That's number 26, Ben Landry. 26, ben Landry. That was Ben Landry. He had that red. Anticipated that. That was a great play. Fantastic defensive play. Anticipated the pass, caught the ball, and just took off straight down the sideline. Well, you know what they say about the passing game. Only three things can happen, and two of them are bad, and we just saw the one that was bad for the Hurricanes, but fantastic for the Blue Devils. First and 10, they take over at the Hurricane 35-yard line. So it's handball to 35. That's one way to put an end to an effective drive is to get the turnover and get a return on the interception. So here's the trips left formation for the Blue Devils. Diggins in the shotgun. That's one way to keep him away from the defensive line. Takes the snap, looking to throw. Got it to Melcher. Tries to spin past the first defender. Can't do it. Brought down for a loss. There is a flag on the play. I believe it's going to be offsides on the Hurricanes. 
Offsides Hurricanes. That'll bring them down five yards. So you can see melted. that the Blue Devil offense did make an adjustment. Because of that, uh, the, the blitzing Hurricanes, they decided to go with a trips left formation and a shotgun. Going against Hammers. And a shotgun formation. They really wanted to spread that defense out. Obviously, okay. that, that blitz He's was very effective. And in fact, the Hurricane defense was over anxious on that play, looking to get into the backfield a little bit too fast. And again, I'd love to see a hard count here. I'd love to see a uh, first down on a five yard motion penalty. Yeah, comes so, line well, I, I think even though, penalty. You know, five here's that trips down. left formation again. And I think another thing I like about this formation is, is it gives Diggins a chance to get more comfortable there in the backfield. Takes the snap. There's the handoff to Cesaro. Cuts oh, it man, up is he quick. the middle. Runs into a hurricane after a gain of about three yards. That'll bring up second down and three. Hey, nice, nice job by, by the uh, Blue Devil offense. You know, one of the things we've we've said here over the course of the season, Rob, is those plays up the middle that gain three, four yards. We'll take those every time. Right. After the timeout, Blue Devils break the huddle. Second down, and let's call it three and a half to go. The trips left formation that we've seen before. And here we have Ben Landry, a quarterback, with Luke Melcher joining him in the backfield. Second and three here for him. Oh, it's Melcher, a quarterback. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff. There's the pass to Cesaro. Oh, it's nice. complete. He's still on his feet. Got some room. One guy to beat. Stiff arm stays up in for the touchdown. Little spin move at the goal line. That's an athletic play, Rob. Oh, man. Off the charts of the entertainment value. Big smile on uh, this color man's face. What a great throw. Great catch. And the best part of all was that dancing, prancing, run for a touchdown. Blue Devils take a 14 0 lead. Such balance on that play. Uh, it looked like he was going to be pushed out of bounds right at the pylon. You know, all year long we've seen players take, a, take the wrong angle at that guy. You know, they think they got him. He's little. He doesn't look like he's going fast into whoop. He's by you. Whoop. He's by you. Again. Just fast enough. So Melcher, quarterback again. Landry next to him. Cesaro getting to his spot on the end of the line. There's the snap. There's the fake handoff. Keeps it himself. Brought down. His conversion is no good. That makes the score 14 to nothing. As we start the second half here, the Northampton Blue Devils, who are leading 14 to nothing over the Amherst Hurricanes, will be kicking off. It was uh, some impressive plays we saw there in the first half, Rob. Hey, you know what was real impressive? We didn't talk about this in the first half. The, uh, the, the Hurricanes blitz. They took Northampton out of their rhythm. Northampton went to a shotgun. Number 56, Dylan Demon, had five or six perfect snaps. That is not easy to snap the ball at shotgun position. Those were, those were. Quick, they hit the quarterback right in the chest and they set up some real impressive plays on the part of the Blue Devils. It is such a confidence booster if you don't have to worry about that type of exchange between the quarterback Very and the center. Very impressive by number 50-16. Here we go with the kick. Drills it. It is a live ball. Number 12 dies on it for Amherst. He's recovered by Amherst. Amherst falls on the ball at their own 38-yard line and they'll take over to start this second half. Yes, number 12, Stephen Steele, is all over that play for the Hurricanes. It'll be first and 10 for Aaron. Take over, 38. first and 10, they're on their own 38. All right, they're on 38. They had a little bit of life towards the end of the first half there in terms of the offense until the big interception by Landry. Let's see if they can perhaps recapture some of that momentum. Yeah, yeah. you know, you can feel the momentum shifting to the Hurricane, and Landry picks one off. Scoots down about 35 yards, sets up the second Blue Devil score. The Blue Devils are First in a strong position now, starting the, the second half. Amherst Hurricanes in a, a wishbone formation. The handoff up the middle gets through the first tackle offenders. Then he's brought down by Rentis, and number 15 was in on that tackle, too. That is uh, Jalen uh, Rodriguez. Jaylen was in on that tackle. Nice play. So that was just a little quick hitter up the middle, Rob. There was nothing fancy about that one. Yeah, it worked. It was five yards. It on did first work. Down. That's what you like. Five on first. They certainly makes second down easier if you're doing that on first down. We announced our 50 50 raffle ticket just a few minutes, folks. Hurricanes come out of the huddle, and they're in that same tight wishbone formation. 
Hand winds up now. Second quarterback five. takes the snap. There's a handoff up the middle again. Uh, the quarterbacks are calling the play dead. That yeah, has to be a legal motion on Amherst, yeah. and it certainly is, and that'll push him back. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. as much yeah. as he gained those first five yards on yeah. first down, yeah. 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 if you give him up on second, yeah. it's not going to do you any good. Uh, yeah. Yep, yep, good. Bad for the Hurricanes. Good for the Blue Devils. Second and ten. The coaches can't be happy about that one. Well, the Amherst coaches, that is. They make it second and ten. As darkness falls here at Tudrin Field after a beautiful fall day. The lights are on. The food booth is still open from what I understand. Sure smells like it. It smells delicious. Wishbone formation again for the Hurricanes. Quarterback takes the snap. He's looking to pass. The tight end is streaking down the field. <laughs> Devon Hedman says, if you're going to take that long to throw the ball, I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you. So he hit him, and just as he threw the ball down the field, incomplete pass, but that was definitely broken up by Edmonds. Another nice play by Edmonds. Brings up third and ten. Well, that seems like an especially long ten yards against this impressive Northampton defense. Yeah, and the, and the problem with that play that Amherst ran before is if you're going to throw to the tight end, your tight end has to be faster than that. Yeah, this number, uh, 24 Amherst. miles. Is that 24 miles Helliwell, lieutenant safety? He's going to have to make a play on on this time because you know they're throwing the ball. There it is. There's the pass play. 81 took his eyes off the ball, and that's an incomplete pass. I couldn't really tell, Rob. Was that a forward pass? No, I think that was uh, number 44. Uh, that was Lucas Phelps who was in that uh, safety. And he was going to have an opportunity to make the play there. Unfortunately, the uh, for the Hurricanes, the ball was dropped. That's going to bring a fourth and ten. And this seems like a punt situation, but you never know. Never know. 81 on Amherst just took his eyes off the ball for a second, yeah, they're and not he couldn't they catch it. They are going for it. They are going. And although uh, number three Melcher is real deep, this definitely looks like a. Uh, a goal. I think like they're going to punt. I think they're punting it. At the line. Yes, sir. They uh, had to bring some extra defenders back because they remember what Devonte did last time. Melcher feels the punt, breaks to his left, gets a nice run back of about 10 or 12 yards. Solid return by Melcher. His sure hands. Yeah, that was a nice tackle by number uh, num number nine, Jason Marquis, on that play. Blue Devils leading the Hurricanes 14-0 here this afternoon. Here this evening. So Blue Devils first possession in the second half. They'll start from their own 48-yard line. See if they can add to their 14-0 lead here. And just to re remind everybody, these two teams played last week. The, the Blue Devils won handily, but they allowed, or I shouldn't say that maybe, but the Hurricanes scored on them first time all year. Diggins takes the snap. There's the handoff to Melcher. Finds some room in the hole on the left, on the right-hand side. Breaks a couple tackles. He's down close to the first down marker. You know, one ref has it marked a lot further than the other. Second down and second down in about a yard. An athlete blessed with speed can run to the outside, but it takes an athlete that's determined to run on the inside. And Melcher showed the kind of determination that every coach loves to see. Not only can he use his speed and he can branch to the outside, but he also isn't afraid to run inside the tackles. You know you're going to get hit. Him. You know you got to finish your run, and he thrives in that environment. So now the Blue Devils are in an eye formation. Diggins up under center. Hurricane showing blitz again. A muffed center exchange. Diggins falls down on the ball. That is a loss of two yards on the play there. I think that, once again, the Blue Devils yeah. felt a little pressure from the defense there. Yeah, and I think we're going to see a shotgun formation here. Melcher's coming in. I think he's going to be the quarterback. I think we're going to see that shotgun. I think Melcher's going to be back. Uh, he's thrown a couple of times out of this formation. Let's see if we see a pass play here again. No, he's coming under center. So Diggins gets a breather on the sideline. And there's that blitz formation on the defense. They're coming. Melcher takes a snap and fumbles it, falls down on it. Going to bring up fourth and Loss of two. Two plays in a row, a little bit of trouble with the exchange. You know, again, that hard count would go a long way toward backing That's these Hurricanes off. Is up there. It's going to put us in a fourth and tough situation. Hey. Hey. First down. Fourth and about four there. Melcher comes to the sideline to get the play from Coach Demon. Goes back into the huddle to tell his teammates. 
You know, Coach Cy Newman, who coached in this league for years, was famous for uh, those hard counts. He worked on it real hard in practice, and they would get key first down after key first down using those hard counts. Not sure if this team, although very well coached, practices that as much as uh, Coach Newman's team is. Hurricane to. showing blitz again. And there you go, Rob. There it is. They heard you, Rob. They did. Okay. Offsides nice on the Hurricanes. Uh, will that be enough for the first uh, down? Yes, Let's it see. Will. Marks that off. And That'll be a first down for the Blue Devils. Put a hand up on that play. And, the other, and aside from getting a first down, as you've been saying, that gives the Hurricanes something else to think about now on defense. Yeah, it was. It just, you just have to, you know, it's that edge. It's a fractional Everybody second. This time, uh, number is 347 Nice job on the part of the Blue Devils. We've been waiting for that one That's for four seven seven zero three. Please go to the merchandise table. First down, just shy of the 40-yard line. I formation. Uh, there's a muff snap again. There was some movement there, but they didn't call off size in the hurricane. I guess they're going to say there was back no in time. size in the hurricanes. There was no motion. I mean, that was everybody was waiting for the penalties there. We moved on that play too. That I should think, just be a do-over play, but yeah, unfortunately they're not going to do It is going to be a do-over play, but it's going to be a do-over second, do over second down. <laughs> second down, ten yards to go. That's all right. Now get back in that. Uh, forget, guys, let's, uh, now let's get back in that. Uh, well, this this shows kind of the chess match element that can develop in a football you know, again, game. Again, I would I'd like to see us back in the shotgun on this. That's this free range pork there, using folks. Hurricane showing blitz again. Free range pork. Melcher takes a snap. There's the pitch to Cesaro. Oh, he's Makes so the first quick, guy miss. He? Oh my goodness. Now he's in the clear. One guy to miss. Cuts it back yeah, up into the inside. Oh, Finally a... brought down inside the 20 yard line. Gain about 25 on that play, Quentin. Brooks. I got to tell you, Rob, I think I speak for the both of us when we say we like watching that guy run. We sure do. And you, know, and you know what? The Blue Devils created an extra fractional second because the, uh, the, the, the Hurricanes were, we were quite as quick off the ball. That gave Melcher time to get the, get the exchange get that pitch out to uh, Cicero, and with all of those Hurricanes lined up inside the box blitzing, that left acres and acres for that boy to prance and dance and scoot ahead for a first down. <laughs> In effect, they used their aggression against them, and they were going one way, Cesaro was going the other way for the first down. So here we go, about the 18-yard line. Melcher still under center at quarterback. It takes... Up is going to take the snap, but there was a legal procedure on the Blue Devils. Yeah, they are using those hard counts right now. Those Blue Devils really need to show the, some discipline on their on their line. And that is the downside of the hard count is if everybody's not on the same page, it's not going to work. But you got to do it. I mean, these players just these players need to do their job. They need to understand the snap count, and they need to hold their lines. That just takes discipline and concentration. Important lesson. It's one of the great lessons about football. This is the ultimate team sport. One person doesn't do their job, that's bad for the whole team. There's no other sport that I've watched or seen that demands that everybody do their job for success. Football is just one of the great lessons of football. First and 16. Melcher takes a snap. There's a pitch to the left. That's Torrentis. He's got a lot of room. One guy to beat. Cuts it back to the inside. Brought down. Where are they going to mark that? Just shy of the goal line. He's about a foot away from the touchdown. That's a great run by Rentis. You know, again, with all those with all those Hurricanes lined up in the box, there is just acres and acres of, of room on the outside. You can't stop it in and out. Amherst is in the house on the inside runs and it's worked for him but as soon as the Blue Devils get outside their speed Cicero, Melcher, Rentis one after one big gains first and goal from the one and a half yard line they say speed kills and speed is killing the defense here because if they get to the outside as you say Rob there's a lot of room first down goal to go on the two yard line Melcher is going to keep it himself up the middle in for the score that's a touchdown Northampton <laughs> Touchdown Northampton, that makes it 20 to nothing, pending the two-point conversion try. And I think that's the game clincher. I just think that's way too much to ask this Amherst defense to overcome. That was a huge drive. The Blue Devils are in a dominant position right now. It was an impressive drive, Rob. It looked like the Dev Blue Devils <laughs> looked like the Blue Devils were a little bit back on their heels with the Hurricanes blitzing so much on defense. We talked about the chess match. They found a way around it with some plays to the outside. Checkmate. And then quick up the middle on the two-point conversion. 
checkmate in this chess match. So here's the trips right formation. Melcher, a quarterback. Landry in the backfield next to him. There's the snap. Melcher hands off to Landry. Big hole up the middle. Closed pretty quickly. I don't see any signal. They're going to no. stop him just short. But it will not be enough to get 20 to nothing, Blue Devils. Out. With the score 20 to nothing, this gives us an opportunity to thank all of the sponsors who make it possible for Northampton Youth Football to happen. We're particularly appreciative of the financial contributions from the Northampton Police Relief Association, the Calvin Coolidge Nursing Home, and Angelic Builders. They are the New York, the New York, the Northampton Youth Football Premium Sponsors at the goal level. We can find Pioneer Landscapes Incorporated, MRW Connected LLC, Liquors 44, we can find uh, attorney Mark Tanner of Bacon and Wilson, Osberg Associates, Florence Savings Bank, and the World War II Club. The Deuce. Our blue sponsors include Collective Copies, Newman's Construction, Goggins Real Estate, Joe's Pizza, Yum Yum Yum, Whalen's Insurance, Dove Business Associates, Valley Home Improvement, the Weber and Grell Insurance, the Weber and Grinnell Insurance Agency, the Blue Bonnet and Diner, more the yummy cake. food there, and Strides. Landry with the kickoff, fielded cleanly by the Hurricanes until he slipped down at the 43-yard line where the Hurricanes will start on offense. And we would be remiss not to thank our family sponsors. These are individuals who reach deep into their pockets, and they include Andy Morrison, who not only gives at the corporate level through Liquors 44, but also offers money from the personal account of the Morrison household. He is, he is helped by Mike Benedizek, the Ron Berenson family, the Zinals, the Tudrins, and the Burnish, and a special thanks to the Zinals, who's uh, the Patriarch Gym is, provides film for these Blue Devils coaches week in and week out. It's a big part of the training there. And Diana serves on the board. They're generous financially. They're generous for their time. Special thanks to the Zinals. Quick handoff up the middle. Well, Melcher meets him, and that was number 53. Uh, Jacob Matikansky in on the tackle as well. Gain of maybe two yards there. It would also be remiss if we didn't thank the production crew, the team, the corporation that brings us together, Kesson Productions. He, he brings his legion of players, legion of associates to every game. They do a great job on their cameras. Kesson Productions has been filming Northampton Youth Football for years now. Special thanks to that production company for all their efforts on behalf of this football league. I'm going to get teary-eyed after that one. <laughs> Second and eight. Quarterback takes a snap. There's a pitch looking for some room to the left. He is back down by Eugene Rentis. Eugene That's a Rentis loss of six yards there. Here's my theory in that play. That runner saw number eight Rentis, but behind him he saw Renner. He says, I think I'll let Rentis tackle me. <laughs> well, he did make one mistake, which was to go backwards as much as he did. But And as we've seen all the whole game, if you're going to take that long, these Blue Devils are going to chase it down and tackle you. You peek out of the corner of your eye, and you see number 55 chasing you, and you go down before it gets <laughs> ugly. It don't feel good to go down when number 55 gets you there. Last bit of personnel changes for the Hurricanes. That seems like they, I think they got it straightened out. The quarterback has to tell the new players what the play is. Takes a snap. There's a quick out to number 81, who meets once again. Bang for loss at number 55. That was number 13 with the tackle, Quentin Cesaro. And Troy Renner. That brings up fourth and long. Expect to see punch. That was another play that went nowhere. So that's uh, fourth and long. And let me interrupt you. I noticed a whole bunch of the Blue Devils are back here to support the youth football program. Very successful. Five and two Northampton Blue Devil High School players are here supporting their. Uh, their brothers, their friends, their town colleagues. Many of these players that I see down the end are graduates of this program. It's good to see them here rooting on their, their, the, uh, the youth football league. Here's a punt by the Hurricanes. Gets the kick off, fielded by Melcher. Goes to his okay. left, got some room. Here comes Amos. Beats one pursuer, two pursuers. One guy to beat, cuts it up to the inside. Now it's a foot race. I think he's gonna go all the way. That's a touchdown. Touchdown, Melcher. Luke, 58-yard punt return, Luke Melcher, number three. 73 50 had a chance to get him, but he kind of ran out of gas around the five-yard line. <laughs> Andrew, this game is OVA over. I think you called a check it made a little while ago, Rob. 
Now we're getting into uh, trouncing territory. It's 26 to nothing at the moment. You know, the, the, the big play in this game was that Landry turnover, wasn't it? That, in, that, pass, that, that, that pass interception. Like we said, that really changed the momentum. Amherst you know, had something going there. They were free and easy with the passing game. And Ben Landry said, uh-uh, not this time. Two-point conversion try. Looks like the trip's right formation. Diggins is back in a quarterback. He's got Landry as his backfield mate. Calls the signals. There's the snap. Rolls to his right. There's the pass. Just over the head of Rentis. There is a penalty. Flags are on the field. It looks like they're going to be calling illegal procedure. There it is. Illegal procedure. It'll be declined. Conversion, no good. You know, that makes no sense. The, 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 the flag stops the play. I would agree. Typically on something like that, they would call a dead ball, but they let the play go on. And the play reason, the of course, play, they the do that the is because they want to protect the players. If it's a legal procedure, you call the play over. Match this afternoon, folks, with a quick six and a great 58-yard punt return by Melcher. That doesn't make any sense. Puts Hamp up on top. I don't think Coach nothing. Demon thinks so either. That's a dead, that, that stops the play. And I also don't know is uh, can they decline that penalty? These, these guys must, you know, I'm sensing that these guys were part of those replacement refs that were in the NFL for a while. This is where they ended up, huh? I'm Coach, also unclear about if Coach Gerard is questioning as well. I don't know if that's a penalty you can actually decline, but that stops a play, and, and, you, and you you know you start you again, set again five, five yards, yards back. Left, five yeah. Yards back. At any rate. Unless it was a different call and, and he, uh, you know, said it was illegal. Uh, who, who knows? You know, uh, well, it's 26 uh, nothing. Oh, I'll, no. let that, I'll let that one slide. Oh, no. I, you know, who knows? We're too deep back here at Amherst. Landry runs up. There's the kick. Landry sends it. Good squibber. Fallen upon by the Hurricanes at the 45, where they will take They're over about the 45, so their chances at victory quickly dwindling. And this game must be nearing the close. We must be deep in the fourth quarter. I don't remember the signal for the fourth quarter, but one would only assume, given the time. Of course, we, we do we, a lot of assuming up here. We, ne we never know what the time is in these games. There is no clock. It's a great mystery. So aside from that little drive the Hurricanes had towards the end of the first half. They haven't really done much on offense. That said, they're going to come out in the wishbone formation. Lines up, first and ten, about the 45. Takes the snap. There's the handoff. Looking for some room to the right. Got it. Got, he Ooh, nice had some tackle. room, but Cesaro said, nope. He is having one big time game on both sides of the ball. you got to love that tackling. Again, showing off that speed. You know, and it's not just the speed. It's the athleticism and the, and the toughness. I mean, that guy can't weigh more than about 47 pounds, but he plays like he's 247. What a beast. Well, I believe force does equal uh, momentum plus acceleration, Man, right? Mass, mass plus mass acceleration. acceleration. So we get that. Friend. He does. That's right. He's he also, now, he also uh, draws on that other Newton that defense of the Blue mandate. The body in motion today. stays in motion. That kid just Amherst, never Amherst, stops Amherst, moving. Amherst, Unlike me, with that, that takes advantage of a body at rest, likes to stay <laughs> that way. <laughs> Takes a snap. There's a quick out to the right, to the left. Rentis sniffs it out after the complete pass, brings him down, gain of about a yard. That's going to bring up third and nine. And there are some wholesale changes now for the Blue Devils on defense. Yeah, I see number six, Mike McGrath coming in. Very exciting game. I think number 11, Noah Brink, is in. Number 18, Xavier yeah, Chardier Xavier is, in. is in. Right. Got. Amherst taking a long time in the huddle, figuring out the third and nine play that'll get him back in this game. Yeah, that's number uh, 44 back there as well. I think that's, uh, yeah, Lucas Phelps. Now they've passed safety. out of this formation a lot. Yeah, Let's see Lucas what they do. Need to make a play. Here's Looking the pass. to throw. He's got the receiver open. <laughs> Cicero was there. He was. He had his concentration on the receiver, and I believe that ball hit him in the head. <laughs> yeah, the other, the other, you know, Wells was hustling on that play. You gotta love to see it. Was uh, Henry Brick was 
sprinting out of his defensive line position. You gotta love that hustle. Great hustle by uh, Henry Brink on that play, number 64. Showing his coaches that he's here to play too. Here comes the, here comes the, here comes the. Y'all don't really worry, y'all. So that picks up a long fourth down. Doesn't look like they're gonna punt this time, Rob. They're gonna go Why for bother? it. Okay, well, because Devontae could get another block. There's a quick, there's the snap. He's looking to find a first receiver. There are two defenders. It's going to be incomplete. Fell incomplete. That one had no chance. That's turnover on downs by the Hurricanes. Another fine defensive stance. Yeah, number 48, Kevin Powers, is on his way into the ball game. Still left him in midfield position. Kevin's a terrific athlete. He is a fifth grader. There's a lot of fifth graders that have made an impact on this team throughout the throughout this uh, season. Also got a call out to number 52, Nico Mastro Angelo, who's had some great plays this year. Northampton will take over. Northampton will take over on the Amherst 45 yard line. They break the huddle. Diggins is back in a quarterback. Hams leading this contest. See number 57, Isaiah Rodriguez, Rodriguez in the game. Kozlikowski, number 79, is also anchoring that line. And that's Ben Fowler behind and I think in the backfield, and they're calling timeout. I think they noticed they only had 10 guys out on the field. Nope, that's they're... Uh, Nay, number 25, coming into the backfield oh, as well. Awesome. He's coming in for Lucas Phelps. Yep. That's Jameson in in the backfield. He and number... Number 10, Ben Fowler. Ben Fowler is joining him back there. Right. Now, is this a timeout for the Hurricanes? Yeah, Looks of, that way. A lot of player personnel shuffling happening right now. Uh, After the timeout, Blue Devils take over. Yeah, First down definitely. on their opponent's 46-yard line. Referee blows the whistle. Everybody gets ready to play. Diggins has got him in a position. Diggins up under center. Takes the snap. There's the handoff to Fowler. I heard a call about a fumble, but I didn't see the ball on the ground. He managed to get uh, a couple yards there on a quick hitter up the middle. That'll bring up second down. Amherst D smothered that one right away. Reddit didn't give anything up. We anticipate or imagine that we're late here in the fourth quarter, Rob. It's been a nice performance by the Blue Devils. Yeah, it sure has. And it's been a performance that uh, the Blue Devils have not had two of their key players to starting quarterback number. 36 Gerard and their uh, fullback and leading tackler to this year, number nine, Ryan Long. Uh, both of those players sat this one out. They're nursing injuries. And despite the loss of those key, two key guys, this has just been dominating. We see, we've seen uh, Melcher and Edmonds and Renner just Hand step up. Dig Diggins nice takes run. the snap, the handoff to Caven, finds a hole up the middle, cuts it back to the right, gains about three yards there. Now next year, if we came back in that same play, we'd see Powers, instead of trying to cut that out, what he would do is he'd plant his foot, cut up lower his shoulder, and finish that tackle for an extra two yards. Number 44, Lucas Phelps, going back into the game. The other guy is, you know, and, I, the, and I think you and I would agree that as dominant as those players have been, you know, the running of Cicera and the interception at the end of the first half by Ben Landry has to be the big play of this game. Well, and don't forget the punt return by Melcher. Yeah, that, that was pretty a, much you know, put the nail in the coffin. That was, a, yeah, an exclamation point at the end of an exciting game. Diggins takes the snap. There's the handoff and to Phelps. A gain of about a yard there if we're going to be charitable. And that'll bring up fourth down. Diggins you know, he, comes over to the sideline to consult with the coaches about what to do. You know, Phelps showed some really nice speed there. He's not the biggest guy in the world, but he sure is quick. He showed some acceleration. About eight. Fourth down. It looks like the Blue Devils are going to go for it. Which yeah, makes sense. Give these uh, Blue Devils a chance. And we haven't really seen much out of the Hurricanes, and it's late in the game. They got fourth and a lot of play, a lot of, a lot of Diggins is up under center. I formation behind him. Takes the snap. There's the handoff to Fowler up the middle. Quickly met by a number of Hurricanes. That'll be a turnover on downs. 
going to bring up first and ten for the Hurricanes, and they are taking over on their own 44 yard line. And as we're late in the fourth quarter and we have a, a, a big lead, the coaches are doing a good job of getting some players in there who may not get a lot of playing time. Two minute warning. Two minutes left. We love it when someone can tell us how much time's left. It's Melcher coming out to the sidelines, gonna get a well-deserved rest. Hurricanes come up to the line of scrimmage. One receiver to the left, one receiver to the right. But this play's going right. Love to Quarterback see takes the snap, the play here. looking to throw, and there's oh, another pick. Ben, ben, Fowler ben Fowler anticipated that, ben timed it perfectly, picked it off. That's got to feel good for Ben. Fowler on the pick. Nice play. Great play by the special teams for Northampton there. Hey, geez. Hey, by geez. Design there. Amber's red right into it, and here comes Betty Fowler with the pick. So the Blue Devils are going to get another chance on offense here as the game winds down. You know what did a real nice job in that last play? You, Rob. No, number, yeah, yeah number 18, you know, Chartier was out there. He got his tall, he's a tall guy, he got his hands up and he, he uh, slowed that play down and gave Fowler just enough time to scoot in there and get the pick. Diggins takes the snap, hand off to is. Fowler. Picks his way through the hole, still on his feet, finally brought down after a gain of five. Down. Runs like his brother. <laughs> well, you saw some hop in his step after that interception. That's, 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 that's He is fired up, number 10, Ben Fowler. It's only fitting that they handed the ball off to him after the interception. He earned that That's run. great, man. He is on a high, and he wants the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. I'm going to score. Give me the ball. Brings up second down and seven. Diggins breaks the huddle. Brings the team up to the line of scrimmage. Some I formation behind him. Hammer is showing blitz. Now they switch out of it. Diggins takes the snap, had a little trouble with it. Hands off to Phelps. Brought down the backfield for a loss. It didn't really have much of a chance on that one. Nope. 44 in the carry. It looked like Diggins had a little trouble with the snap. Yeah, that, the snap was a little bit clunky. The offensive line play was a little bit uncoordinated, right, and the result third, is. About 13 for Northampton. There's a loss on the play. Yeah, we saw there was, there was nothing good on that one. Champs leading this match this afternoon, this evening, folks. 26 0 over the Amherst Hurricanes. I believe they just said that the Northampton Blue Devils are out of timeouts. I have never seen the referee give that call to a coach in one of these games. <laughs> Was that a uh, executive and that, order? Ladies and gentlemen, is the game. Final score, Blue Devils 26, Hurricanes 0. The Blue Devils complete their regular season undefeated and giving up only six points on the year. Well fought game. That is all from Tugent Field. Still undefeated.